What's up, Uncle? I put together a sequence of easy exercises for you to perform that should help take away some of your anterior knee pain. The bone spurs that have developed above and below your kneecap generally develop because there's excess tension across that area. So I've given you a few exercises that really focus on massaging out and stretching your quad muscle, as well as strengthening the muscles that cross the knee uh, in order to take some pressure off of those painful spots. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I can help you through the program. Uh, stay moving and I'll talk to you soon. This video is to help with anterior knee pain. The video consists of four different parts. One is massaging around the area. Two is gonna be stretching the tissues that cross the front of the knee. Three is going to be a hold while sitting against the wall. And then four is going to be a heel tap while standing on one leg. First, we want to massage around the area, okay? So you're going to use your thumbs and you're just going to massage the quad on the inside of the leg. So go right up to the kneecap, massage around the border there, see if you find any tender spots. And then you just want to work your way up the inside of the thigh here, okay? So that's gonna hit the medial quadriceps muscle. You're gonna work all the way up to the hip and stop in any sore spots to really work that spot, okay? Next, you're gonna do the same thing. Start right at the kneecap, massage there, and then work your way up the front of the thigh, okay? The quadriceps has four different parts, that's why it's called the quadriceps, and we wanna make sure we hit all those parts because if you have any tight spots or tender spots in your quad that's going to put excess tension across your kneecap okay so work all the way up to the hip and see if you find any sore spots up there and then last you're going to massage along the outside of the patella or the kneecap and then work your way up the soft tissue of the quad on the outside here all the way up to the hip and you might get some sore spots all the way up on the side of the hip here, okay? So that's the first step. Uh, you should perform this for about three to five minutes at a time um, and do this as many times as you can throughout the day. Next, we want to stretch the quads, okay? So you're gonna do this by getting into a kneeling position. You can use a towel under your knees for an extra cushion and then grab a chair to give you some balance, okay? So you're gonna get up tall here and then you're just gonna reach behind you and grab your ankle, okay? When you do that, you should feel a stretch across the quad, okay? You wanna hold this for about one to two minutes on each side. If this position is tough to get into because you can't reach that ankle, then another option is to just lean back. So just kind of sit back and see if you get a stretch in your quad from doing that, okay? This one we want to, again, perform as many times as we can throughout the day. Exercise number three is a wall sit, okay? So you're just gonna sit down like you're sitting in a chair with your back against the wall. Find a knee position that's comfortable for you and then just hold. You're gonna hold for 30 seconds or until you fatigue. Okay. When I say a comfortable angle, um, we want to make sure that we're not getting into those painful ranges. So just get to a position that feels like it's putting good tension across the knee without sending you that anterior knee pain and then hold there. Okay. To progress this exercise, you go lower and you hold longer. Okay. These holds are good for managing pain as well as strengthening these quadriceps muscles without moving the knee and irritating those tissues that may be a little bit angry already. Exercise four is a single leg heel tap. So you're gonna balance on one leg and then you're just gonna tap your heel out in front of you. Okay, you're gonna perform for 10 to 15 reps on each side and try to do that for three sets, okay? 
with this one, you want to tap about one foot in front of you. And each time you tap, you want to bend your knee and then straighten your knee. That's where the exercise is, in the bend and the straighten of the leg that you're standing on, okay? We want to work up to the pain, but not into the pain, okay? So there's going to be a point where you bend your knee and that knee pain probably comes on. We want to stop right there and then get back out. That tells me that that's the only range of motion that your body can control comfortably right now, okay? So we just work right up to that pain line, that's our boundary, and then we get out of there, okay? As you progress this, you're gonna go lower by reaching out further, okay? And then you can increase the number of repetitions. Use a chair for balance, at least to begin with.